Good afternoon. This is Dorothy Simon sitting in for Jim Lakey and this is Cable Channel 3 and you can also catch us on the web at sandylandcenter.org sandylandcenter.org and you can visit us on the south side of the square anytime from 9 until 12 Monday through Friday. We are at the start of a brand new week and how refreshing it was to have all that rain over the weekend. Um, the plants and everybody is enjoyed that four and a half, five inches of rain we had over the weekend. Uh, we just thank the Lord for sending us that beautiful rain this week. So at the start of this week there will be some scattered showers and thunderstorms over most of the region. Uh, all through this week and tonight uh, in the extreme northwest of the state there will be some severe thunderstorms with damaging winds a hail and isolated tornadoes and thunderstorms are possible but locally here the, it, the down downpours could bring a threat of flooding and they have been there has been flooding um, in the areas are surrounding us and many people are suffering and pumping out basements because of that so watch out for flooding in the area if we do get more of this rain but right now in the square it's somewhat cloudy 84 degrees Fahrenheit south winds a uh, south southwest winds at 10 miles per hour and the humidity right at 67%. And over the next six hours or so, we can expect it to remain partly cloudy with the temperatures rising towards the mid 90s, 90 to 94 for the highs today, uh, with a heat index of 105, so be careful out there. Tuesday, we should see some more isolated thunderstorms with the temperature right at 90, highs at 93 degrees and the lows at 72 and with a 30% chance of rain. Winds at south southeasterly at 12 miles per hour. And on Wednesday, we should see some scattered thunderstorms with the high at 81 and the low at 66 and a 40% chance of rain. And the winds again at a northeasterly at 11 miles per hour. In our community today, we have some birthdays. We want to send some birthday wishes to Abby Lynn Ward. Abby Lynn Ward, it's her birthday today. And tomorrow it will be Harry Johnson's birthday and Chad Ward. So if you see these people, just wish them happy birthday. And we also have a happy anniversary um, blessings to Car, Carl and Laura Lee Nelson. And over at the Sunflower Center this evening, every month they do have a salad supper. And this is the first Monday in the month, and that's there will be a salad supper uh, provided by the, um, the center. And if you wish to attend or bring a salad or a cake and ice cream will be provided. So come on out and join the fun. And even if you don't have anything to bring, come on out and enjoy the fun. There will be plenty. Uh, that will be at, five, at six o'clock, six o'clock today, the salad supper. And, and on Thursday, uh, there is the start of the food fair, uh, farmer's market in the square. And that will be every Thursday. It started um, last Thursday. And so every Thursday at 5 o'clock in the square, farmer's market, fruits, vegetables, arts, crafts. And just bring out, bring out your arts and crafts or goodies to sell. And if you need more information, call over at the City Hall. And we have some new menus this week over at the Sunflower Center. Today we're serving up 
some Hungarian pork chop with seasoned noodles, buttered chuck wagon corn, fresh vegetable salad, and jellied fruit cup, and milk or coffee as usual. And tomorrow promises to be just as nice. It's pepper steak with steamed rice, seasoned vegetable mix, a green salad, lemon bar, bread, and milk and coffee. And on Wednesday, Salisbury steak with gravy, steamed broccoli, sliced tomatoes, green pepper salad, cream pudding topping with uh, rolls, and mix mixed vegetables and as usual tea and coffee and over at the Maxville Center today it's smothered steak scalloped potatoes cauliflower and peas and a cinnamon roll and tomorrow it's turkey with gravy mashed potatoes beef with orange beet with orange salad and a fruit gelatin salad. And on Wednesday, chicken stuffing and capri vegetables and mandarin oranges for your salad. So please attend either of the two centers and enjoy some good eating that is already prepared for you. And a thought for the day. People are sometimes lonely because they build walls instead of bridges. Often we build walls instead of bridges and that makes some people lonely. So do not worry about whether the sun is going to rise today. Just be prepared to enjoy it and build bridges instead of walls. <laughs>